Welcome to MidwestSports.net and to our channel. Today with me on the summit is the coach of the Morningside Mustangs, Coach Steve Ryan. And Coach, uh, your team is coming off a 51-0 win over St. Xavier in the NAI quarterfinals. And Coach, the, the offense gets so much attention, and rightfully so. But I do want to talk about the defense here a little bit, and I think that that is where it starts with this last game. Nine sacks, two interceptions, two fumble recoveries, and, and you just kept St. Xavier off the board. Yeah, I thought our, our defense played really well. And, you know, so that time of year that you want your defense to play well is, you know, as you're entering the playoffs. And, and uh, you know, when your defense plays – well as our guys did on saturday you know it, it just gives your offense so many more scoring opportunities uh they gave us a lot of short fields uh and really contributed um and making it an easier day for our offense and easier to get the points on the board and you know and uh, you know obviously just makes it look better for the offense but it, it was really our defense that that uh, kind of stole the show on Saturday. <laughs> and you get help, a couple of seniors uh, stepping in, and, and Nordine and Claiborne each getting an interception on the day. You look through the NAI stats right now, and, and the top three teams in team defense with the scoring defense category and the total yards, the total defense category as well, those top three teams in Morningside, in Grandview, and Marion are all still in the playoffs. Lindsey Wilson is in the top ten in both those categories as well. So uh, does that play through to the adage that defense wins championships? It, it, it does. You know, we've been fortunate to have made it this far multiple times, at least in my time at Morningside. And, you know, if there's one thing that um, I think always comes out and is always just true is, you know, you get to this point of the year, everyone has a good defense. Um, part of it is because so often in small college, um, you, you've got to win in the north. I mean, um, you know, most most small college programs, you know, it's kind of unique to, um, you know, what's really unique is Division One, where where all the playoff games are in the south. But in small college athletics and, and in the NFLs with it, you got to win cold weather games. You gotta you gotta have a defense that can stop the run and. And so typically when you get to this point of the year, everyone has an outstanding defense, and, and and it always goes with it, a very well-coached defense. Well, Coach, uh, yours appears to be well-coached because it is definitely effective, giving up 10.7 points per game, uh, less than 250 yards of, of total offense for your opponents uh, at least, and you're backing that up then with 56-plus points per game, putting up – uh, nearly 580 yards of total offense to game. Oh, and by the way, special teams. Well, you know, your kicking unit, 87 of 91 on extra point attempts and 7 of 9 on field goal attempts. So you really appear to be firing on all cylinders. I hope so. Um, you know, um, yeah, I'd like to say I, <laughs> I hope we are. You know, really, you, you know, it's the, you know, the last three games for us have, have really kind of been our big games this year. You know, the two games in the playoffs and, and then to end the year playing an, an undefeated Northwestern team. So um, you know, we've kind of had some some big challenges here here late, and the guys have always been able to rise to the challenge to date. Speaking now with Coach Steve Ryan, the head coach at Morningside. And, uh, Coach, you know, there were some who may have looked in and, and uh, thought that this team might fall off just a bit coming off a national championship last season. Of course, history says you all are going to just keep on going and keep on winning with the eight conference titles in a row and, and – uh, bringing that in, but you, you graduate uh, Solzma, you graduate Niles, and the connection that was there for so long. Did you know what you might have in Joe Dolinchek bringing him up? The sophomore quarterback has really just seemed to pick up and, and not skip a beat. Yeah, Joey's had an outstanding year, and, um, and, and you know, Trent started for us for three years, so Trent's first year starting was his sophomore year, and and, uh, and, I, and I would say in many ways, their sophomore years have been comparable. Uh, that, that never, you know, says how it all is going to sell or how it's all going to work out in the long run. But um, an outstanding sophomore year for Joe when he's done well. And I think the big thing for us is we came out of that national championship. We, we lost four fifth-year seniors. And they were, you mentioned two, but the two on defense as well, Nick Xavier Spann and Chase Reese. Right who are all outstanding players and they're all outstanding leaders. And I think, you know, the, the thought was, you know, those guys as stars shown so bright that, Hey, can we replace them? And the reality is, is most of the defense was back. 
uh, most of the offense was back. And I think what's kind of come out from those four guys is they were outstanding leaders. And I think a byproduct of outstanding leaders is they make outstanding leaders after them. And, uh, you know, our, our senior class has been, has been incredible and, you know, they've got high goals for themselves and, and they've kind of been able to step up and fill in where those four guys had left. It really says a lot about the culture there at Morningside and what you've been able to do in, in your nearly two decades uh, leading the program there. Well, Coach, when, when you have a, a, a quarterback like Dolinchek who is passing for more than 303 yards per game, uh, how big is it? is it? Is it key that you have uh, a backfield as solid as you do, of course, led by A.P. Ponder and, and him uh, running for nearly 130 yards per, per contest as well? Is, is that a key to that passing game, or, or is that just a luxury? Uh, no, it is a key. Um, I think one thing that, you know, Joey has going for him is, you know, I think right now we have three receivers that are either over a thousand or right at a thousand yards. So he's, he's got, you know, um, some good receivers that he can go to, um, and having a balanced attack, but to get back to AP, um, AP is an outstanding back. And I think one of the things that makes AP an outstanding back is so often we think, hey, you know, great running game can help your quarterback or a good running game will help your quarterback in throwing. And there's a lot of truth to that, AP's ability to run the ball. But AP does so much more, and that's really what makes him a special back is, is he's an outstanding receiver himself. He's outstanding in pass protection. He carries his fakes out. And, you know, sometimes you just look at the yards per carry, but really what makes AP an outstanding back is he can do everything and and uh, so often he, he doesn't even come off the field that often in a game. And so, um, yeah, I mean, AP is probably, you know, Joey's right-hand man back there, but it has so much more to do than just his ability to carry the ball. Uh, and it's it's an impressive offensive uh, show that you all put on week after week. And, of course, again, you're talking about receivers, Bo Ells, uh, Reed Jurgensmeyer, Austin Johnson, those guys have been putting up some fantastic numbers. Well, Coach, then we look then at, at the game one Saturday. It's an in-state game, but it's a game without much history. Uh, the only time that, that these two programs have met, Morningside and Grandview, the team coming in uh, to Sioux City on, on Saturday, uh, 35 nothing win for Grandview six years ago in the semis on the way to a Vikings national championship. I know I don't need to tell you about that, but just to, uh, just to, to bring people up to speed on, on the history of, of the matchup there, can you talk about the matchup then for this Saturday? Again, two solid defenses. Yeah, I think Grandview's got an outstanding defense. I think that's uh, without question. Um, you know, you mentioned, you know, they're right up there, um, you know, in the, you know, yeah, all four teams have an outstanding defense, and you really can't compare defenses, you know, in small college, you know, strictly based on numbers because, it, you know, we all play different schedules. There's right. really no overlap in terms of teams, but uh, you just watch them on film. I mean, they're shutting people down, and that was an outstanding College of Idaho football team that they held the two two field goals last yes. week. Well, Coach, uh, you talk about the North, and we wrap things up here on the Summit, and you talk about playing games in the North – scheduled for kickoff at noon from Morningside, and it looks like it's going to be 40 degrees at noon central time, maybe partly cloudy. I mean, if the sun's shining through on a game day like that, it looks like it could just be a great day for football. It really is, and it should be a beautiful day. Uh, I've been surprised how nice uh, really the weather's been here the last couple of weeks for this time of year, you know, even for practice. So um, looking forward to the game. It's going to be beautiful on Saturday. All right, Coach Steve Ryan, thank you so much for taking time with me today on the Summit, and success to you all as the season continues along. And obviously with the program, you, you all are doing the right things there and doing it the right way. So thank you again for taking time with me today. Thank you very much. That is Coach Steve Ryan. Thanks again for watching the Summit. Please be sure and like and share this video and subscribe to this channel, Midwest Sports Net. In the meantime, God bless you. Have a great day.